I'm Rindon Ricks with EastIdahoNews.com. In this video, I want to show you a completely free alternative to Adobe Photoshop. It's every bit as powerful and professional as Photoshop, but comes with a price tag of exactly zero dollars. It will always be up to date. It works on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. Take a look right now with me and I'll show you exactly what it can do and how you can download it. This is what the workspace looks like for the GIMP program once it's installed and running on your computer. You've got your tools on the left hand side, brushes and layers on the right hand side, and across the menu bar you can also open up additional toolbars depending on what types of things you're doing. So if I want to drag and drop an image that I already have here on my computer, and we can just start working on it right away. You've got brushes, so we can just draw, select different colors, Nothing here is anything different than what you would see in Photoshop, at least as far as application goes. I just want to show you the sort of some of the capabilities and things that you can do. Just sort of some fun things there. But uh, let's zoom in here and we'll try and use the clone tool because that's sort of a fun dramatic one. So we can clone another surfer right over here. And oops. Maybe we'll do another one right here. I just hit Control Z if I mess up. That's what that un undo shortcut is. Um, and again, all the shortcuts, almost all of the shortcuts are going to be the exact same for Photoshop. The brushes that I've been using are you can export them and import uh, actual Photoshop brushes. You can even work with a Photoshop file on GIMP and vice versa. You can export GIMP into P Photoshop like .psd files. So they're very, very compatible with each other. The main big difference is one costs money and one does not. Um, GIMP is made up of uh, volunteers that contribute their time to develop it um, and companies that develop it for their own personal uses and then they share the source file which is called why it's called open source. They share that source with the rest of us so that we can benefit from it as well. We've got erase tools here, we've got um, different filters if I want to apply like a cloth filter here on this, click OK. So that gives it kind of a cloth look. If I want to apply maybe like a uh, lens flare, and I can choose like this lens flare here, so it looks like a lens flare is coming off the camera, it will then do that. So we've got a lens flare up top here, and then it's kind of cascading down. Maybe I want to just have just this part, because this is actually quite a large picture so I just want to crop this part out here I can select that go to image uh, crop I can scale and either shrink this tiny down and into a thumbnail or I can expand it larger um, change the different options for printing it really does have a lot of professional tools too and you can do a lot of neat things you can work with different layers over here you can have transparency layers multiple layers uh, lots of benefits of that all the tools have different options here. You'll see clicking on a tool, different options below it. Well, that's just a quick look at GIMP and some of the things that it can do. I just wanted to show you the interface, give you a feel for it, and see if you want to download it and try it out for yourself. So that's the free Photoshop alternative, GIMP. Again, you can download it completely free for both personal and commercial use. Hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave your comments and questions below. Again, I am Rindon Ricks with EastIdahoNews.com. Thank you for watching.